Nova Scotia. People who use drugs. Try the nurse because the nurse knows what they're doing. Is a moment, please. Murder. Yeah, Michelle, it's Gary Thompson. I just looked at the uh, Nova Scotia, the overdose protocols. They changed them up, and it's still wrong. At Gary CBR, you check it out. There's a coroner's inquest. Dr. Aaron Orkin, Mr. Chest Compressions, has changed his mind. It's rescue breathing. Anyway, 647-864-6609. Thanks a lot. You have a great day. And check it out on my Twitter. It's all up there. I see you won a mental health award for naloxone. Well, I was just up on Bell Let's Talk. A friend of mine's EMS. He's uh, involved with Bell Let's Talk. He's got it up there. You're murdering everyone. Not only drug overdoses, but anybody else with a breathing emergency. Have a great day. That's the end of that nonsense. Here's what they buggers are got up there they chased it up man oh man oh man where's that photo let's show you the little photo they're teaching people it's up on their website my oh my oh my look at that start chest compressions call 911 it's supposed to be air air all the signs that they have up on their website proves you're alive. Die in lack of oxygen. Could be any of the hundreds of causes of breathing emergency. You certainly don't want to be doing no chest compressions. Jeepers, jeepers. <laughs> you teach them. They do it to anybody with a, that's alive. <laughs> doctor told me to. Mm, the doctors are getting doctors murdered. Not the brightest tools in the shed. These are the signs from Nova Scotia. The signs of a drug overdose. Blue lips, cyanotic, cold clammy skin, pinpoint pupils, shallow breathing, gurgling noises, chain stokes, respiration. Patients in a coma could be any of the hundreds of causes of Breathing emergency, proves your heart's beating. They need rescue breaths, A-S-A-B. And this is what you're supposed to do for any breathing emergency. There's hundreds of causes of breathing emergency. A doctor can't tell what's causing it, except give rescue breaths, A-S-A-B. Diagnose, then treat the underlying cause. Those signs prove your heart's beating back there. So you never give chest compressions to a beating heart. You're going to bust up all their insides. They need rescue breathing. Moss Park, 60% of the time, they're giving oxygen only rescue breathing layperson. 35% of the time, they're giving naloxone and rescue breathing. And half of the 30 that they're giving naloxone and oxygen, they have to call EMS because naloxone's not working. Other complications. You just don't keep giving them naloxone, naloxone, naloxone. That's bad medicine. So when you teach people to save overdoses, 
you're just teaching them to save anyone with any breathing emergency. And these doctors are getting themselves killed. The more they teach, the more they're doing it. Because when you empower a layperson, what they think is a life-saving technique, they're doing it. Killing you all.